Welcome to Sky Lily's Nature TV. And in this episode, we are going to be making a blue tongue skink habitat. But first, I would like to show you my habitat. And so this is my little toy snake rat. Here is my little toy black mamba. And her name is Black Mamba as well. So, and I have my pit viper in there. Just give me a second while I put him away while I show you. This is Ashley, my pit viper. Thank you, Ray. And this is my little place for oceans. The ocean animals get to be in the blue, and the ones that would go on land and go in the water are in the gray. And in this one, I have a bunch of lizards and stuff. Little buggy feeders, pretend ones, and my scorpion. That was scary. Really? <laughs> He's fighting over the food. He's fighting over it. And this is just a bunch of other cool animals and stuff. And so what we have over here is Brian Starlight. He is a lithium ball python and with cinnamon and lesser. And what we have back over here is paranormal. So paranormal is a normal ball python and I can see his little head peeking, but he's probably going to be sleeping right now. So, let's move on. So, for the next thing I want to show you is this is my toy turtle enclosure. This is the mother turtle, father turtle, and the little baby turtle. And so... We have a little piece of lettuce for them eating and a little geode stone for them to sit on. A little coconut shaped hide. And the next thing is that I would like to show you my zoo. The name of it is Sky Lily Zoo. I put all my stuffed animals and stuff in there. And it has like little sticks, make it naturey. And up here, on my bed, there's a little nature netting that keeps mosquitoes away. Like when it's out, like in the outdoors, when you're like adventuring, you have to put mosquito netting around the tent so you don't get bit. Because apparently in the woods, the mosquito that the mosquito bites there are very bad. And that's it for the tour. So I know my room looks clean, but everyone makes mistakes sometimes. And when I was a little girl, I cut my curtains. There's like a few cuts on there and there's some scratches on my desk, X marks. X marks the spot sometimes and but everyone makes mistakes but it's okay if you try and try your best and not to do it again and if you learned your lesson maybe you can evenly fix up those mistakes but you can't change the past we can only affect the future and now I want to show you a little something. So, snakes 
really like this. So if you want to have your snake comfy, you should put like a little milk carton, old milk carton there, wash it out and stuff. So the snakes could use it because the snakes like to use these milk cartons to like use it as a hide. And it's to save money, and it's also, you're also reusing things to help save the world, too. Okay, so this is the before of the habitat that we're going to make for uh, the skink. We tried different substances with her, but she didn't like them. So we're going to try this new clay substrate that we found. And we'll see if she likes that. So now we'll clean out the enclosure. First I'll take out the hide. Now, now it's important to have your animals to have a hide because in the wild they need a place to hide so that they feel safe from predators. And now I will take the basking rock. The reason why we have a basking rock is because when they like to have like heat so when they lay on when they're ready to lay on something good like nice and warm we we like to put a little raw because it absorbs the heat and also I will also take the food dish the reason why we have a food dish is to give well food to the animal and so they don't eat the substrate. Or because they, it can get stuck in their throat and they can choke too. Um, so now we're going to clean out the substrate. Oh wait. Oh, I forgot a garbage bag. <laughs> we don't want to make a mess on the floor. Let me go get it. So we just cleaned out the enclosure but we didn't record it because it was really messy. Wow. This sand feel, um, we're gonna be turning this weird feeling sand into clay. Whoa. That's a little weird. six cups of water. Now once you start this, you only have an hour until it hardens, so you really gotta mix it in there. You gotta make sure all the sand becomes hardened, like it becomes clay. Seriously? Again? And you gotta mix it in good. Getting our hands in. Really? Getting our hands in is the best part, right? Yep, hands-on is one of the best ways. Not hands-on chuck. There, though. No, but like hands-on experiences. Okay, go. There's a bunch of stuff under here. Mm. sister wanted to rescue SJ, we thought she was dead. We were so worried that she wouldn't make it. She had mites and so much stuck on shed that we couldn't even see her color. 
she had only been fed hard-boiled eggs and crickets. That is not enough for a young skink. She was so frightened of her piles of dead crickets that to this day she will not eat live bugs. She finally moved after we had rid her of the mites and thankfully ate a vitamin infused mixture. After her week she was clean and perky. She was quite feisty though. She was also trying to bite but we were just so happy to see her so active. We've had her for a year now and she is healthy and big and quite tame actually. We leave music on for her because on on for her unlike snakes she can hear sound like we do and I feel that she could get bored while I am gone. My mom would hold her and sing lullabies to get her calm and tame her out. Okay, so now we have a tunnel for her here. And we just put it at the back here near the heat tape. And we kind of put the dirt around it a little so that it doesn't collapse in on her while she's inside. So this is a basking rocket. It's gonna go underneath SJ's heat lamp so she can just bask on it and just like have a little rest maybe. So this is her little shedding rock. So the reason why you have a shedding rock, so like usually like we don't have like enough stuff to help her shed, so we decided to get this rock. Well, we do have stuff to help her shed, but not really enough. So we got this rock because, like, the this kind of edge can help, like, get the skin, the old skin off of her. So I'm just gonna put that here. So we got her hide here as well, and also we got some plants for to help her hide and to make it look better as well. Let's like make it look pretty. And there we go. Okay, so I put the food dish in there and oops, I forgot her water dish. I have to go grab that. Action. Okay, so after we put the water dish in here, we realized that we had to rearrange some things. And also, we gave her a little background here to kind of, you know, spruce it up and make it a bit more girly for her. Um, now, in the cool end, we have it about 80 degrees. And in the, like, where the basking rock is, it should be about 90 to 100 degrees. But during the night, it can be a bit cooler. Now once, this takes 24 hours to harden, so once it is done, we will have her in there and she'll be all happy and warm again. Thanks for watching Thank Skylily's Nature TV. TV. Thank you so much guys for tuning into this video. Make sure, please make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button if you enjoyed. And make sure to tune in next time. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'll be putting on the links in the description down below. So now I'm going to take a break in my little reading nook. Bet you never guessed that. Later days! <laughs>